Well, I've determined why the Taurus wagon stopped running for no reason last year. Pretty simple. <laughs> the gas tank fell out. And when it fell out, the plug fell off for the electric fuel pump. So, you can see why it fell out. <laughs> it rust. Holy God, is this thing rusty. It's well maintained, but it's just horrible. It came from Quebec or Ottawa. This strap let go too, so last year we wired that side up and there ain't much left of the other strap. Well, who knows how long before the ass end falls off this car with rust like that, but I'll plug it back in, tie the tank up, and I bet you it's going to start. It hasn't been started since uh, September of 2009. And it's got the 3 liter V6, one of the best motors Ford ever made. Not great on gas, not that much power, but decent enough. Alrighty. Use some old electric fence wire. I used to have cattle around my farm. It's high tensile. And wired up the other side. Now the tank is actually sitting in almost as well as it would be if the car was fixed right. <laughs> How can you fix anything like that right? Right? So let's test if the fuel pump turns on. I heard it. Well, we better lower it before we start it because it may not be able to suck gas from that angle. Sweet and simple. Mobile hoist. Every, every mechanic you have. Just drive to the scene of the crime. I mean, the, the breakdown and pick up your vehicle and repair it. Alrighty. Old start, cold start. First time for 2010. Maybe it needs primed. I hope the gas isn't stolen out of it. I wonder, does the gauge work? Ah, oh, I bet someone did steal the gas. Bastards! All right, I'll put some in. That damn thief didn't even put the cap back on afterwards. Now I'm gonna have to ball up a plastic bag and shove it in there. Take two. Some more prime for a good time. Now oh, the fuel pump is sounding quieter, so sounds like it's sucking gas. Uh, the gas gauge moved a tiny bit. All right, throttle's good, it's not a Toyota. Yes! Yes! And no tack! Aww, it's got a rev limiter! That sucks, no red line for a good time. Take her for a tour. Have air in the tires? Oh yeah, pretty good. Uh oh, I got a Toyota battery in here. I hope it doesn't hit the hood. Have to be careful. Don't want to short out the positive on the hood. Oops. Details. Tires aren't seized. And we're off.
I'm driving with a handheld device. Oh no! There's something else the haters can call on me. Except I own these roads. <laughs> Five kilometers of these roads. We're about 3.5 miles. My farm didn't even have a driveway on it when I bought it. Nothing. That's why I had to buy my machinery so I could terraform my farm and make all these roads so we can get around from point A to point B in our movie props. And we're vacuuming all out all the catnip seeds out of that bus right now just so that we can have the biggest catnip crop ever and stuff that thing and maybe get another one next year and expand some more. Sweet. Done your vacuuming? Uh, maybe. maybe we should mod it for wheelchair access. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of people sent me happy Easter messages this weekend. Thank you. Happy Easter back. Well, Easter's all over and I didn't do much, didn't go see any family, although I was invited, but not very often you get a record warm weekend in Canada on Easter weekend. But the downfall was, it was so windy, it was incredible. Saturday was our windiest day of the whole year, and there was even a camera guy out there doing some professional shooting, and it was destroying the situation. This was supposed to be the weekend that I took my go-kart up Sky Hill, but I didn't want to do it because the wind would have wrecked the sound on the camera shot so you'll have to wait till maybe next weekend if the weather's okay so I did farm maintenance and everybody else worked on their vehicles and just maintained things because it was not a good weekend to make videos even though it was, the weather was warm and it was sunny a lot of the time and I fix cars too so you'll have to watch this car fixing movie and that's all I've got for now <laughs> too bad it was supposed to be the day or the weekend that I got to christen my go-kart on the farm for the first time. It's running good.